Estamos de vuelta en zona deportiva, nos encontramos una vez más en el Centro de Alto Rendimiento de la Federación de Fútbol de Guatemala para hacer una entrevista hoy en nuestro segmento Mantrap con el más reciente elemento que se incorpora a la Selección Nacional de Guatemala que ha ilusionado a muchísima gente, que es Nathaniel Méndez Line. Nathaniel, welcome, welcome to Guatemala. Thank you, thank uh, like you. I was saying off camera. And how do you feel so far in your couple of days you've been here? Yeah, very good. Um, just you know, settling in, um, getting used to the facilities and the, the heat, yeah. the, the weather. Um, the altitude. Yeah, the altitude yeah. is a lot different to home. So, yeah. you know, I, I text my fitness coach back home and I said, <laughs> you know, I feel like I'm unfit. A yeah. little bit, and he said, "No, don't, don't worry at all. It's just the humidity." Plus, it's also the jet lag. Yes, you, jet lag you, you, also. You have to work right away. Yeah, time difference, uh, a lot of travel. But um, today, I felt a lot better Great. in training, so um, we will train again today. So yeah, just settling in, um, just getting used to everything, but I'm enjoying it so far. How? When, when did you? When did you become aware of your Guatemalan roots, and and when did you become aware that that would give you the possibility eventually? to play for the Guatemalan national team? Uh, I always knew my family, my mother or my grandmother was uh -huh. from, from here. Okay. But it just, um, you know, it was just never really something that kind of was yeah, looked of at. Or it was just something like Yeah, you knew, like but I knew, but... Mm -hmm. um, and I'm not sure how it came about online, uh, about the Guatemalan national team, but then um, Juan, I, yeah. I'm not sure if many people know Juan. He he doesn't work at the federation, but he uh, yeah. you know he got in contact with me and That's we were speaking. Great. So I, you know, we kind of just took took it step by step. Yeah. And I still wasn't sure if anything would come from it, but you know, uh, you know, we ha I had a, a Zoom call. Yeah. And then um, you know I spoke with the coach, and from then you know I just I wanted to get the paperwork done, and I, I wanted to come and play for Guatemala. That's right. And when you're going through that process. Did it help that other players, like, like um, Rubio Rubin, Aron, that are in MLS, they, yeah. they don't speak much Spanish either? Yeah. They took the step also forward. Did, did that help or, or um, something you, you not, came to learn here? Yeah, not, not really, but I, I understood what was going on. Yeah. Um, and, you know, I thought uh, that players are also coming here, you know, maybe it's a good time to try and, yeah. you know, do something special for the national team. Uh, so, yeah, it helped, but either way, I think uh, my decision was made that I wanted to do this. It's a good timing also, considering Guatemala goes back to the Gold Cup after many tries. Mm -hmm. I think we've been absent last two or three times. We have a very high-profile coach in, in Atena. Yeah. Um, and Guatemala now has a unique possibility for the 26 World Cup, being that US, Canada and Mexico that are hosts mm -hmm. are already qualified. Yeah. So, and there's going to be more teams invited to the next World Cup. So yeah. there's a lot of, it's like timing is very, very good for you in that, in that scenario. Yeah, um, look, it's hard not to, to be excited about yeah. the possibilities of that. But, um, you know, we focus on the, the Gold Cup. And then you know, step by step, we see see how far we yeah. can we can take it. You're, you're 31 right now. 31 right? And you now. told me before this occasion you've never been to Guatemala. I imagine your mom hasn't been here uh, either much. Yeah. Uh, I'm sure, and she, you told me she got excited when you got your ID because yeah. now it confirms. Yeah, it's like it's like um, you know, giving honor to her roots. Yes, uh, yeah. I imagine they, they expect to be. Coming to Guatemala more often, at least you're you're Guatemala side of, of, of yeah, the family. Yeah, for sure, for sure. Um, once I sent her my ID, you know, she was uh, very emotional and happy. Yeah. But um, she said, you know, we want to get a holiday yeah. and come over here. But also, you know, if we're ever playing here as well, exactly. th th they would want to come. Exactly, that's great. Tell, tell us about your upbringing, uh, soccer or football-wise for England. Yeah. I think I'd be beat up in England if I say soccer. Uh, but <laughs> <laughs> yeah. how did you, you know, become a, a football player? And where did you start your first years and to uh, your debut? Um, just playing for local team. Yeah. Um, when I was around eight years old, um, just playing, playing quite a lot. Um, get scouted by quite a few professional clubs yeah but my my mother and my dad they didn't want me to go to professional team they wanted me to just enjoy playing with okay. my friends and stuff for quite a while and then at the age of 14 I signed with Wolverhampton Wanderers yeah um, from there you know I, I made my debut and then went out on loan played at a few clubs 
and then you know just as the career goes you know you have moves and ups and downs like yeah. everybody and you know I got to Cardiff I think was where I had my 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 best season yeah and then we got promoted to Premier League and then another season in the Premier League uh, I've been like Middlesbrough, quite a few clubs. So yeah, yeah like it's. it's and now Derby County, how's how's that? Yeah, Derby County, there? it's great. Um, I'm enjoying it there. It's a it's a great club, massive club. Um, we just oh. we just missed out on the playoffs last season. Yeah. But um, you know, like I just see today, we've made um, some good signings again. So um, I'm looking forward to that also this season. You you know the area we knew at least. Uh, 15 years back Derby County very well because of Paulo Cesar one chop from oh, Costa yes, Rica yes, yes. do they still mention him there because yes, he scored a lot of goals uh, <laughs> he has at the stadium yeah. a big poster of, oh there's a big poster yeah. yes. he was uh, a great goal scorer had, here, yeah. like, a few legends on the on the poster and he's on there great for what I've been reading and seeing in your videos, you play winger. You can play from either side, right? Yes, right or right left. Or left or yeah. Also number 10. Yes, also in the yeah. 10. Where, where do you feel more comfortable or, or where do you play more often? Um, on, the, on the right wing, towards the end of last season, I started yeah. playing in the 10. So we changed, yeah. changed the formation uh, and it was working well. So I was playing in the 10. Yeah. But um, naturally on the right, but also on the left is... It's easy for me yeah. to cut inside and shoot more, but on the right side you get more crosses in. But yeah. You during games I like to mix, you know, swap with the wingers. Yeah. That's yeah. And and, and a, a, a very good goal scorer too, even though it's not your yeah, priority no. or, or yeah, what's expected um, every time. But I think uh, in my position that I play, it's. Uh, assists and goals is priority. Yeah. So uh, I know, like least, well, the main assist, assist exactly. the main assist. But um, and for me, I prefer assisting. It's, it's like okay. what I do. But you know, I, I like to contribute with goals as well. Great. How do you manage expectations here? Because you know, every time a new player comes, and, and you coming from England and and your background, and how do you manage those expectations from from what amounts and from media? Even though it's something you're just getting acquainted with, uh, it's, yeah. it's gonna be there's gonna be high expectations like from Adam, from mm -hmm. you. Yes, from no, I understand that. Um, I think it's the same, and you know, like you sign at Derby County, also you sign at Cardiff, Middlesbrough. Yeah. You always have big. They're big clubs. You have big expectations, so it's it, you know it's part of the game. Exactly. Uh, I understand the expectation and. It's not always going to go right. I know that it's, this is football, but um, you know, as long as I give everything that I've got for the badge, then you know I can hold my head high. That's great. You told me your family is going to be in for the uh, Gold Cup debuts. It's against Canada, I think, right? Or first no, game? The, day, the the first game is Cuba. Cuba. Yeah, they're Cuba. Gonna there. So they're gonna yeah they're gonna fly over and stay for a week, have a holiday, great, and come to the game. You know, hopefully, if we get some downtime, I can go and see them also. Um, you know that it's very rare that I'm away yeah. from home. Of this, course, this no, it's going to be so, a new experience. Well, you yeah. played under 16 and under 17 with the England yeah. national team, yeah. right? and uh, obviously, if, if that would have still been the situation, this would have yes. never, yeah. uh, you know, been been uh, in the in the um, a possibility. Yeah. But you know, that's how life uh, yeah. sometimes uh, uh, plays uh, out, and uh, every, everything happens for yeah. a reason. And I'm sure it's going to give your family uh, the opportunity to. You know, be, get to know what I'm again yes. because it, it's changed a lot since they've been here. Yeah, uh, for yeah, sure. for sure. Yeah, um, even like the pictures I sent my mother. Yeah. Um, of oh, Kayala. Of, yeah, Kayala. Yeah. Uh, it's beautiful. It, it's it's very nice. You know, it's uh, like I said uh, off camera. It's not what I expected. You yeah. Know, but it's a it's a beautiful place. Yeah. Um, and I also want to go and see more of the culture and stuff, but. In the short time, uh, see what I can. Um, but holidays I will have with my family. That's yeah, because it's going to be great to have you around here. If, if we can show you around, it'll be our pleasure, and you'll, you'll have a great time uh, representing Guatemala. People here are nice, intense followers. Yeah. Not close to hooligans, but you know, <laughs> yeah. they'll, they'll, they'll be happy to have you around yeah. and to and to show gratitude for your at least decision to be part of Guatemala national team. So. Yeah. Uh, welcome to Guatemala and big things for you, my Thank friend. Thank you very okay? much. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank you.